So the latest version of Ubuntu comes with this new desktop interface called Unity. And I've been trying to give it a, a fair trial. It's got some, some nice features. But uh, the, there's one thing about it that has just been driving me up the pole. And that is the fact that it takes total control over the super key, a.k.a. the, uh, the Windows key. Um, and, uh, and so if you, if you had anything bound to the super key in the past, uh, none of those key bindings work anymore. And uh, I'm, a, I'm an Emacs user, so I tend to bind a lot of things to the, uh, to the Windows key because all the other keys are taken. Um, so, so I thought, okay, maybe I can, I can uh, be okay with this Unity thing if I can just rebind uh, the, uh, the super key actions to something else. So I was, uh, I was looking around my keyboard and I was thinking, uh, you know, which of these, which of these keys isn't really pulling its weight? And uh, looking around, let's see, uh, U, caps lock, the most useless key on the keyboard. So okay, I wonder if we can uh, bind the uh, the the Unity actions to caps lock instead of super. Well, it turns out you can. Uh, but uh, there are a few steps to do it. First of all, we need to disable the default caps lock behavior. So I'm going to go into the uh, the keyboard settings, and I'm going to go over to let's see, going to go over to layouts, then I go to going to go to options. And we get this this huge list of options, and it's got a list for caps lock key behavior. And I'm going to say caps lock is disabled. Close that, close that. All right, I'm going to just test real quick here. Good. So I actually have an indicator that will come up on screen when I hit uh, caps lock. And I'm hitting caps lock right now, and nothing's happening. So that's a good sign so far. Now, um, the next step uh, is actually to install some software. Because by default, uh, you don't have, there's no way of reconfiguring the Unity key bindings. What we have to do is we have to uh, install the Compiz config uh, settings application. And uh, to do that, you would open up your software center. Uh, you'd go, you'd uh, search for Compiz and uh, find advanced desktop effects settings. And there it is. Now, I've actually already installed it on here, but uh, by default, it is not installed. All right, so I'm going to open that up. I'm going to search for Compiz, and there's the Compiz Config Settings Manager. And there's a gazillion settings in here. I'm just going to search for Unity. If you search for Unity, you find this Ubuntu Unity plugin section. And uh, you can see right now I've got uh, the key to show the launcher is the super key. So I'm going to click on that, and um, I'm going to say grab key combination, and I'm going to press caps lock. And whoa, that didn't work. Uh, let's try that again. Well, it says void symbol. That's interesting. Let's find out if it's actually working. All right, I'm pressing caps lock, and the uh, the Unity screen came up. So it looks like, uh, despite that coming up as un as void symbol instead of instead of caps lock. It looks like the setting has taken. Uh, so uh, now, if I press super, um, uh, the super is now no longer bringing up the uh, comp the the Unity dock, which is great because I like to bind things like this. This is my little pop-up terminal. Uh, I like to bind that to a super key combination, and I like to bind my my uh, window switching to that. So now I am happy again. And um, I can use uh, I can use Unity without screaming in rage.